In my last video, I ran three games on eight Linux and compared four gaming distributions against their vanilla based systems. People were asking me to add more, so let's do that. In this video, let's add one game and three gaming distros to this list. There were several comments I want to address before we dive into these benchmarks. First, I want to clarify why I want to benchmark these distributions. Some said the gaming distributions were just some gaming tweaks added to these pure systems and I didn't add value to the viewers by running benchmarks. Although I agree with the statement to some extent, I don't think the efforts done by the gaming distro developers were in vain. They sacrificed their free time providing complementary work to the community. So I just want to figure out how much improvement we can benefit from their work. On top of that, I think this kind of video will be extremely helpful for those viewers who got confused by all the gaming distribution websites promoting the gaming performance boost for their users. Another reason is that one of my favorite YouTube channels, Chris Titus Tech, always says he would never make a gaming distribution related video because he doesn't believe that they make any sense. So I want to see if he's right by cross-referencing these distributions to help us find the truth. Second, I want to answer the question of why I don't modify anything before doing these benchmarks. Some people said that I should replace the kernel in the vanilla distribution with the same kernel inside a gaming distribution to do this comparison. I didn't do this deliberately because I know people who watch these kind of videos were just looking for shortcuts. They just want to find out which distribution they can install and start gaming right away without additional efforts. So I install and compare all the distributions with minimum modifications since I believe that will provide maximum value to the audience. Finally, I want to explain why I was using GNOME version of Nobala Linux in the last video. Some people mentioned that Plasma version has the most optimization for gaming on Nobala. But for me, the official Plasma version didn't work on the NVIDIA GPU desktop. Ironically, I found that these gaming distributions were easier to break the NVIDIA driver than their bases. This has happened four times for me recently, except for the two times I mentioned in the last video when I was dual booting Pika OS and Regatta OS on two separate SSDs. The third time happened I was trying out Pika OS on my dual GPU laptop. The NVIDIA driver worked after the system installation but broke after the initial system update. The final instant occurred during the preparation of my last video. The NVIDIA driver broke again after the initial system update on Nobala official Plasma version released in January 2024. So I had to switch to GNOME version. Now let's talk about the systems and game for this video. As per requested, I added three distributions. Manjaro Plasma, Catchy Plasma, and Pop! OS 2204 NVIDIA version. They are based on Arch and Ubuntu respectively. In my Arch comparison video here, some people commented that you should not declare Manjaro is based on Arch Linux because they have so many differences. But I just have no other base system to compare against, do I now? So I'm gonna compare it with Endeavor OS anyways. On the gaming side, I added Cyberpunk 2077 back to the list because I realized that I can run the game with 1440p to have a better average number. Now let's do the comparison. Starting with the Arch based Linux. With F122, we see both Catchy and Majero beating Endeavor OS numbers. But Endeavor is not trading far behind. In the Callisto protocol and Watchdog Legions, Endeavor ranked in the middle while Manjaro and Catchy swapped places between first and third. In Cyberpunk 2077, Endeavor came in last place again while Manjaro took first this time. Clearly, there is no difference between all these three distributions. Then let's compare Ubuntu and Pop! OS. Ubuntu beats Pop! OS number in F122 and the Callisto protocol by a small margin but lost to it in the other two games. Which means there's no major performance gain on Pop! OS when it comes to gaming. Now let's rank everything. On F122, 
Ubuntu-based systems were ranked lower than Arch-based distributions, but they produced better numbers in Cyberpunk 2077 and Watch Dogs Legion. On the Callisto protocol, they have a little better average everything compared to Arch-based Linux. So the conclusion is the same as the last video. There is no significant improvement on performance for these gaming distributions. Then why do you still want to use a gaming distribution? Apart from the reasons I mentioned in the last video that they are usually driver ready for NVIDIA GPUs. They are equipped with additional features like console mode and some tinkerings for AMD GPUs towards OBS Studio and DaVinci Resolve. They usually have a comprehensive welcome page to help users to set up the system. But the final reason I could think of is codecs. No matter if you use Ubuntu, Fedora, or Pure Arch Linux, codecs are always a hustle. Nowadays, most AAA games can run without additional codecs, but when they are needed for cutscenes or videos I downloaded, they always cause me headaches. So the advantage of using a gaming distribution is that users don't have to worry about adding additional repository then installing codecs. However, you may have noticed that the numbers in Endeavor and Ubuntu are different this time compared to my last video. This is because during the recording of this video, Heroic Launcher suddenly stopped working on all three Arch-based distributions and I couldn't download the Wine GE library using the Wine Manager tool. So I had to switch the game launcher to Lutris. And a quick experiment also shocked me on F122. The Mango Hut numbers were quite far apart in between these two gaming launchers. With the same Wine GE version, same Wine prefix which contains the same saving files for the game, same Mango Hut installation from FlatHub, and same system. Heroic launchers saw way better numbers compared to Lutris. So I had to rerun all the numbers on Lutris again for Ubuntu and Endeavor just to make sure these numbers are comparable. I'm planning to do another video comparing different gaming launchers on Linux next. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe and like this video to support me. Thanks. In the end, people also asked me to do a set of data from Bazai OS. But that one is based on Fedora Knight, which means that I had to install two additional systems in order to do the comparison. I'm sorry that I just didn't have the time to do so, but I will finish those data offline. If you want to see all the games on all the distributions with complete data sets, please help yourself to download the free PDF I will pin in the comment section when it's ready. I'll keep you updated whenever I have time to test more games and distributions. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.